it's Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic here and today what I have is a rarity there is a check engine light on my 2017 volt I got a message through via email that it's an emissions problem I think I know what it is already but just to make sure I am going to throw the launch X431 Pro scan tool on it just to see and confirm and see if we can fix this. Alright, so let's get started, get hooked up and see what the code is. So as I think you can see it has the check engine light on it. I wanted to give you a quick look at that. Now I'm going to try and set it up and get the scan tool ready to scan for the code. So we'll try and get this all in as we go along. I know there may be a glare and I apologize. I'm trying to do the best that I can. So we will go to all. We will go to Chevrolet. Uh, confirm. Hey. All right, I guess it is updating the connector. All right, I'll be back once this update's done. Okay, firmware, firmware update is done. I'm going to go to automatically search. I'm pretty sure that's correct. A volt. Uh, let's just go with system scan. Let's go into engine control module, read diagnostic trouble code, display, post catalytic fuel trim system high current, hmm, P2097, post catalyst fuel trim system high. All right. Um, I'm going to have to look it up and see what it means. So I'm in Identifix here, and we'll go to the Volt, and we can do a uh, P, do you remember what it was, 2097, and we'll search and see what we get. I don't know if we can see that or not, there we go, got in there better. So, engine controls and fuel, P2096 or 2097, all right, well, let's go to diagnostic trouble code information, let's go to the troubleshooting, we'll just go there right away, see what it says. Post catalytic system low, high limit. Fuel trim bias is used to keep the post catalyst air fuel ratio within a predetermined range. This allows optimal catalyst catalytic, easy for me to say, efficiency under various operating conditions. The engine control module consistently monitors how lean or rich the fuel trim bias is. Command it to determine if the fuel bias is greater than a calculated amount. Uh, the barrel mount is greater, the manifold absolute is between uh, a certain amount there. Uh, the startup engine coolant temperature is warmer than the minus 20 C. Conditions for running the conditions for setting it. The correction limit for a condition using a leaner rich air fuel has been exceeded. Action taking are type B DTCs. Uh, conditions for clearing it. Diagnostic aids. The post catalytic fuel trim is very sensitive to heated oxygen design. A non-OEM sensor, an incorrect part number may cause it. Certain aftermarket air filters may cause it. Certain aftermarket air induction. Certain aftermarket exhaust system components may cause it to set. 
I have done none of that. The only thing I did was add it gas, and I thought that that may be what this was because it was an emissions, but, hmm, I don't know. So, 9-7. Exhaust system leaks, split, kinked, or improperly connected vacuum hoses, insufficient fuel in the tank, leaks in the air induction system and air intake ducts, missing air filter, Cracked evaporative canister, evaporative pipes plugged, obstructor leaking, uh, crankcase ventilation system leaking, engine vacuum leaks, low fuel system pressure, okay, contaminated fuel, lean fuel injectors. Now, what may, okay, low fuel system pressure. I am just wondering if the cap is not on, if that would actually make it do that. So we can go into fuel system diagnostics. Well first off, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this and um, well let me go first Let me get to where I want to go and I'll, I'll, I'll be back here. I want to look at something. Okay, so um, as I was poking around in Identifix here, I see that there is a tech service in Chevrolet Volt 2016-2017 all for the 1.5. If it has Malfank... <laughs> easy for me to say, malfunction indicator lamp eliminate it with DTC P2097. Basically, as you read down, what it says is, the correction for it is, install the latest power inverter module calibrations. So, um, like I said, I know the glare is bad. But with, with that being said, I am no longer going to mess around with it because it is under warranty that's something that they will do I just wanted to see what the code was I'm glad I did because now I know what it is and you know having the scan tool and having identifix both helped me so um, I guess it goes back to the dealer and we get the 2011 volt out and run that while they take care of this we'll give them a call tomorrow and see what they say so there you have it um, once again, looking for the tech service bulletin helped out. You can also do that on bbbindustries.com. Have tech service bulletins. You got to sign in and stuff, but that's a helpful spot. But um, since I have uh, the Identifix, I figured I'd do it through there. It's very comprehensive and it's good to know. So, in this case, once again, um, this is something where um, if I can get somebody else to do it, I'm certainly going to be better off. So it is. It's going to go back to the dealership, and they'll do what they have to do. Uh, I do have a heads up now with having this at least of what it is and what's causing it. So with all that being said, um, I just want to say this is Mike, the disgruntled mechanic. Just remember, if you can get somebody else to do it, you're probably better off. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Sorry this wasn't more dramatic. But after looking around, we found we need it, and that's it. So, all right, thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, you dirty, rotten bull! bull how could you break off? You dirty, rotten mother! Oh, dirty, rotten! How dare you break? Oh, I can't believe it broke off! Not again! Oh, man alive! Son of a... Oh, I can't believe it broke off! Jesus! No wonder I'm the disgruntled mechanic!